Hi, this will be a video to continue our discussion of NSURL session and uh, and here we go. So uh, in the last video, I got the list of movies from the iTunes site here and then I printed out the count of the movies. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to display all of those movies in a table view. So what I need to do is I need to get a table view first or set one up. So I'm gonna go to my storyboard here and I used a, um, you know, regular, you know, just the uh, single view application when I started this project. So it came with a regular view controller. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that view controller. Okay, so I just selected it and hit delete. And then I'm going to go over to the object inspector here and I'm going to grab the table view controller. And I'll drag that out here. And you can make your own table view too. This will work with any table view. But I'm going to use the table view controller. And you can see that this one, um, it doesn't have the arrow on this side. So we need that arrow to, you know, signify that this is the starting, um, the starting view controller. In other words, like when our project loads, you know, which view does it display first? Okay, and it's going to be this view. So, uh, so to do that, we'll select the view controller here go to the property inspector and underneath the view controller title right here it says is initial view controller so you got to check that box and now it gets the arrow okay and then we'll need to give this cell a name so i'll click on the table view cell here the default cell and i'll call this cell cell s-e-l-l -L, all lowercase okay put it in the identifier field and then we need to make a view controller file for this. Now I have, I have um, our original view controller, but we need a, um, a table view controller, you know, base class, right? So this one is just the regular view controller. We could actually just change this file and edit it, but you know, we get a little extra um, code, you know, written for us if we just make a new one. So I'm gonna go to Command N to make a new file, or you can go File, you know, New File, right? And in the box here, I'm going to choose um, Cocoa Touch Class, iOS Cocoa Touch Class. And I'll click Next. And then over here, it says Subclass of, and I'll type in UI Table View Controller. And then up here, you know, I'll just maybe I'll just leave that at, at the default. It'll just be called Table View Controller. Okay. So we'll click Next. We'll save this to our project. And there we go. So there's our code there. I'll move it up here underneath view controller, right? Okay. And so we're all set here. We got to do a couple things though. Okay. Let me zoom in on the code here so we can just see it up close. Okay. And, um, you know, when we have our table view and we're setting up, right, we need to provide the table view with some data. Okay. So we need to set up the table view with some data. So um, you can see that the table view controller you know, default file here, this template, um, gives us some functions. So it gives us view did load, it gives did receive memory warning, and then it says table view data source. And then here it says number of sections in table view, and then this returns an int. And so what we're going to do is we're going to type in a, a number one there. So our table view will have one section, okay? Next, underneath here it says um, table view number of rows in section. So this is like how many rows in this one section that we have, right? So we kind of have a problem. We need to know how many rows. So let me go back to the previous view controller and let's take a look. So looking at view controller, you can see we made an instance of movie manager and then we told the movie manager to load movies, right? So when we look at the movie manager class, it has an array of movies. So really what I want to do is I want to get the count of, of this movie array, right? So what I'll do is I'll go to my table view controller and we'll do the same thing we did with our, um, our previous class. We'll declare an instance of um, movie manager. I'll say let uh, lowercase movie manager equal uppercase movie manager okay so there we go so now we've got an instance of movie manager notice that i declared this outside of view did load so i want to declare it up here because i want this to be a class variable that i can use 
you know, I want to be able to call on this movie manager variable in any function inside this class. So I got to declare it outside of all those functions, right? This is a little different than we did in um, view controller where I declared it inside view did load, right? So it was only, in this case, it's only available inside view did load. Okay, so now that we've done that, now in our table view controller, what we can do is, is this, right? We'll go down to number of um, number of rows in section, okay? So we got number of rows in section here, and the number of rows is going to be uh, movie manager, lowercase movie manager, right? Um, lowercase movie manager dot movies dot count. Okay, so we can ask the movie manager how to count the number of, of movies in the movies array. Okay. Okay, next. Cell for row at index path. So what we need to do here is we need to create a cell and configure it and return it. If you recall, I'm going to uncomment this by removing the two comments there. If you recall when we were in storyboard a, a moment ago, a minute or two ago, right? We gave our cell a reuse identifier, which was cell, just S-E-L-L. -L. So I'll put that name in here, okay? And then we can configure our cell and send it, um, you know, and set up its, its text fields and stuff. So I'll do that here. I'll say cell dot text label dot text equals movie manager dot movies um, bracket and then we want the movie that's at index path dot row okay so the index path has a section number and a row number and this is an uh, you know an integer that will give us the guy or the the movie at this index okay so this returns a movie object, right? Because this array only contains movie objects and all those movie objects have properties. So we'll put the dot at the end here and then you can see all the properties of the movie objects show up on the list. So the artist, the category, the ID. Let's get the name, okay? So we can take the name of the movie and make it the text for the text label, right? So our, our table view will display all of the... Um, the names of all the movies that we loaded, right? Okay, so now we gotta do one more thing, okay? When we load our movie manager, when we create an instance of it, the number of movies in the movie manager is zero, okay? So there's no movies in it, right? So what we need to do is we need to set something up so that the movie manager can return, um, you know, you know the, it can load the movies and then let us know that it loaded movies. Okay, so we've got a function here called load movies, but this function, when it's finished, it doesn't really do anything, right? It just prints the number of movies. It needs to send a message to its owner, in our case, table view controller, and say, yeah, hey, you know, I'm done loading movies. So what we'll do is we'll set up a, we'll quickly set up a protocol for that. So I'll go to the top of the table of, actually, I want to go to the top of the movie manager. So I'm in the movie manager class here and I'll type in a protocol, protocol, and I'll make it movie manager delegate. And then movie manager delegate will have one method function um, did load movies. Okay. So anybody that wants to be a movie manager delegate can call this method. Okay or that's our goal. So anybody that's going to say that they're a movie manager delegate, they have to be able to do this. Okay. So let's also assign movie manager a delegate property because that will be the thing that movie manager is going to call on. So what we'll do is we'll make a property inside movie manager called delegate and we'll set the type to a movie manager delegate. Okay. And then what I think we'll do is let's make that an optional and we'll just set it equal to nil. Okay? So, you know, we've got a, maybe we have a delegate, maybe not, right? If we have the delegate set, then we, we, we use it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to call the delegate down here. Now, well, we got to be careful. After we load all the movies and we loop through all the entries, right? We load the movie JSON, we loop through all the entries. Then down here, we, we append each one and this is where the loop ends.
okay? And then after the loop ends, this is where, you know, we count the movies, we're all done, except right here, instead of counting movies, let's notify our delegate. So we'll say if let delegate equal delegate. Oh, well, actually, you know what I got to do? So I got to do self dot delegate. And then in here, we can notify our, um, our delegate. We want to say delegate dot did load movies. Okay, now we got to do one more thing here. Okay, this code right here is inside of our session. So everything up here is inside of this um, URL session, and that runs on a background thread. So if we try to send a message that will update the interface of our of our main, you know, view controller, um, if we send a message to update the interface from a background thread, the main interface runs on the main thread, and we'll get an error that says like, hey, you know, you tried to update the UI from a background thread, this can cause weird crashes. It'll actually say weird crashes. Um, so what we need to do is we need to move this message up to the main thread. So what we'll do is I'm going to cut that for the moment and type dispatch q dot main dot async, okay? And then we can paste this in here, and we can call did load movies on the delegate. And this, by, by wrapping it in this dispatch queue main dot async, this, this closure runs on the main queue, right? Sends that back up to the main queue, and then it runs on the main queue with the regular interface, and everything will work, work normally, okay? We still have to do one more little step, okay? This class now is all set up so it can work with with, with the delegate, but we have to actually set the delegate. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to table view controller. We'll go to um, go to the top of the class here, and we'll declare this class as a movie manager delegate. So I'll just put a comma here after UI view controller or table view controller, and then say movie manager delegate. Okay. And then it'll tell me like, hey, you know what? You don't conform to the delegate protocol. And I'm going to say, yeah, let's fix that, right? So um, let's go over here. So I've got movie manager as an instance of movie manager. Let's go to view did load and set ourselves as the delegate to the movie manager. So we'll say movie manager. You have a delegate property. And we are a movie manager delegate. So we can say self here. We can set self as the delegate. Okay, because we qualify. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Right. And so now we got to do one more thing. So let's add outside of this view did load function. Let's say um, uh, movie manager delegate. Right. And this method's going to be um, did wait fid did load movies. And you can see that shows up right there because it knows that our class must have this method. Okay. So there we go. Did load movies, you know, after we set ourselves as a delegate, you know, um, once we load the movies, then it'll call this method when movie manager is done loading movies. Okay. So let's do uh, one more or two more steps, right? So right here, after we set ourselves as a delegate, let's say movie manager dot load movies. So we set ourselves as a delegate. We tell the movie manager to start loading movies. We saw that when the movie manager is done lo loading movies, it moves back up to the main thread, checks the delegate to make sure the delegate is set correctly, and then calls the did load movies on the delegate, which calls the did load movies here in this class. Okay, so what do we do when we load movies? Well, this class, when, it, when someone loads movies, what it wants to do is it wants to say uh, table view dot reload data. Right, and that'll tell the table view to reload the data because the the number of movies in the movie manager has changed. Okay, so let's give that a test and see if we can get that to work. That was kind of a long. We actually did a lot in that in that discussion there. I kind of raced through it, but uh, that'll get us all caught up. Oh, my movies aren't loading here. Um, let's see what else is missing here. I'm missing something. Let's check. Do we have any errors there? I think that's just all the regular garbage that shows up. I don't see any errors. What could be my problem here? Um, oh, you know, I forgot one more thing. Um, 
I made this table view controller, but when I went to storyboard and I created the view controller here, I forgot to assign it as the class. So go to storyboard, click on the view table view controller here, and then go to the, the little newspaper here, right, the identity inspector, and then right here where it says class, let's type in table view controller. Okay, so now this class is actually being used here, right? So now let's give it a test. We'll test it there, run the thing in the, in the simulator. Oh, and then there's all our movies, right? Okay, so it should be 25 movies there. Uh, and there you go, right? So hopefully that helps you out and gets you going and gets your projects working. Thanks for watching.